Someone wrote something in chalk on this stone. C four R three full lift four holes. Hmm. Huh. It's a wishing well. I already launched a gold to bloom and made a wish. I can't say what it was or won't be granted. On one of the well stones is an engraving. Exit light 86. Stay away. Maintenance work. We are working for you. Yeah, I don't miss passing. The sign scares me. There's a drawing of a knight falling down. Maybe it worked. Oh, it's full of gold bars! So much for the doubloon stacks. I'm rich. No! I feel. Of course. With the help of the hammer and screwdriver, I should be able to take the tile off the wall and get my hands on it. Although I'm sorry to ruin this amazing mural. I'm not so bad as a specialized construction worker, but I prefer being a relic hunter. And this tile I just retrieved will lead me to the idol lamp. I close the curtain. Here we go. Before pressing the button, I take my armor off and pose to snap a picture of my buttocks with the fake tattoo. Ready. Ooh, it's a bit cold in here. So let's hurry up and take this photo. Welcome to the free photo room. I'm the Spectre 4800K, an advanced automated camera with luxometric exposition sensors, fixed span focus, and adaptable white balance. For those who haven't figured it all out, it's enough to stay quiet and follow the simple instructions of phase one. The other phases are just force of occupational habit. Phase one, acquisition of subject. Look at the red light, make a nice smile, and hold still, not breathing for a few hours. Okay, okay, a few seconds will be enough. While the machine develops a pick, I put my armor back on because it's freezing cold in here. Oof, I'm almost trembling. <laughs> oh, the tile just slipped out of my hands. Right, uh, I took the picture, so uh, let's hope it's a good one. T -t -t Time to get dressed. Phase two. Upload the picture. Phase three, development and post-processing. Phase four, fixing on photo paper. Phase five, quick drying. Phase 8, picking up your picture. Pick up your snapshot from the designated window. And if you're wondering what happened to phases 6 and 7, well, mind your own business. Oh, finally the picture is ready. I pick it up from the appropriate window. Thanks for using the Spectre 4800K, designed by the Farrier Corporation in cooperation with the mage Wiz Artist, who reminds you that the picture was free. The free photos are kindly offered by Spiderweb Incorporated, a name that's a guarantee. 
Ministerial authorization pending. For the privacy policy, please consult the online guide or call the hotline 800-123-STAR. Let's see the photo. Wow, I have never seen my backside up so close. Now I understand why the courtesans always have to look when I walk past them. This free photo room is a blast. First of all, because it's free. And also, cause the strobes are phenomenal! Hey! Roy! Here's the photo in which I proudly show my tattoo enrollment in the ESTA order. Okay, fine. Keep the photo. Surely you chose a very uncomfortable place to show you belong to the order. You're telling me. Good job, Knight Steelney! You've brilliantly proven you belong to the ESTA order. Now I can reveal to you how to break the nylon webs. You have to know that the nylon webs are composed of two different stages and can be broken through vocal codes. In the first stage, the most resistant one, they're white. Then there are green ones, which, once broken, disintegrate. It's for environmental protection. What color is the nylon web you want to break? Green. The green ones have this vocal passcode. <clears throat> Look out! But, is it necessary to move my head in a frenzied way like you while I recite the password, or can I avoid that? No, I just do it to make the voice codes more dramatic. The important thing is to repeat them correctly. Those nylon webs are sure cutting edge. Wow, how many clients you must have. I have lost all my customers. Some turn into trolls, some run away, and others died. And we don't get a lot of visitors in such a depressing place. But once, the realm of Manzasan wasn't like this. There was a beautiful, thriving forest, and the sun shone high in the sky. Is it a long story? What? No, I was saying... If it's a long story, tell me now, so that I can press the skip button. Long stories bore me. No, wait, don't skip! It's interesting and, and full of funny names, like the one for the damn cup never! Whatever, I'm not interested in the bowel diseases of this area. The cup and ever is the curse of the perennial night for everyone. That sounds more like a slogan for a phone company. I wouldn't joke about Lady Carmen and the Witch. Her spell turned the beautiful realm of Manzasun into a gloomy swamp, obscuring the sun behind these gray clouds. Any inhabitants who never managed to hide and shelter inside the Ascension Temple, the only place not subjected to her dark spell, turned into green and stinky trolls. And why would this lady, Carmenin, have cast such a terrible spell? For now, it always causes great pain when I have to recall the terrible day on which King Prime II made that bold gesture. The Bewitched Night, in fact, when the witch came back and showed up at the village where the king and the queen were celebrating their anniversary. Oh yes, the golden anniversary of two washed-up rulers really gives an extra kick to this story. The security man of the Queen, Sir Bo Digard, bravely tried to stop the dreadful advance of the Witch. Futilely, since she took control of his sword and with a swift strike detached the head of the unlucky knight. <laughs> uh, you didn't mention the horror twist. Reaching the foot of the regal throne, Lady Carmen and cast a dreadful curse on her hated twin sister, the Queen Rosemary. Did you already tell me they were twins, or did I fall asleep earlier? At this point, the king, blinded by rage, took advantage of a moment of distraction by the witch and cut her head right off with his royal sword! The king forgot that such an action would condemn us all to the cup never. But maybe the king didn't know about the curse. Such things are certainly not put in writing. Actually, there's an edict written by her hand in the town hall notice board. If anyone would dare kill me, I'll unleash the cup never on all the realm of Manzasun! Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Finished? Okay. Good, good. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Now I can go back to the fun part of the game.
Can you lend me your nylon web? Sorry, Rusty, but the only nylon web I possess is the pun! Personal use nylon web, which is programmed to adhere only to my fingertips. I'd lend it to you, but you wouldn't manage to hold it in your hands. It would slip away. But if you come visit me in my shop, I'd be glad to give you one. Awesome. Thanks, Roy. And where can I find your shop? On top of the Ascension Temple. Hmm, never mind. I'll see you, Roy. I have a mission to complete. Okay, if you're looking for me, I'll be up here. How did he say to break the nylon webs? Loka trees and moon kai. Yes, it broke. Let's see what's in the niche. The mask of a bald man. Taken. I wear the mask and press the button for the 3D facial scan. How do I look? Welcome back, love. What can I make you for dinner tonight? hatch opened. It contains a metal can. I'll take it. In this can seems to be something. It makes a strange noise when I shake it. Darn. The mask disintegrated. I wonder how long it was in that niche. Well, never mind. It served its purpose. Hi, Macho. Hey, I'm a fearless knight. May I ask you a favor? Do you think you can manage to open a can with your halberd? Are you kidding? Of course I can. I can open it with my eyes shut. Er, Mom. Actually, this time the operation must be done with impeccable and millimetric precision, so I must keep my eyes wide open. Place it on that wall and move aside. Your halberd is really sharp. I wouldn't want to be in the wall's shoes. Hmm. Something tells me that without the glasses, I won't be able to open your can and leave its contents intact. Do something for me. Procure me a bottle of splash lenses. There's a vending machine nearby. Find it and I'll open the can before you know it. I'd say maybe it's better. I have no intention of playing plumber unless I have a very good reason to do so. Who's there?
Howdy! Is anybody there? Howdy! Is anybody there? Who's there? Hey, you with the wooden armor, don't mess with me. I can see you, you know that? Good! Run, you coward! I turn back to look to the swamp, but I don't think you've gotten away with it. I use the wrench to rotate the little inner pipe. By turning the pipe on the ground, I made the other one turn up. Who's there? Clear consistency. Solid yellowish pieces, brownish hairs, greenish patches. I'd say the animal that took that enormous dump must have devoured a froggy and then a rat shedding its hair. Just the thought of getting closer makes the miasma of my gastric contents move. To be classy about it. Damn it. All the liquid is coming out of that vent. Better close the valve. Good. My patch with the pile of paper seems to be holding. If I don't find the golden relic, I could always think about a career as a plumber. Oh no! Maybe the pressure of the installation is too high and the liquid is squirting out of the pipes of the vending machine at full throttle! Ah, <sighs> good. It stopped. Luckily, the vending machine must have had a limited flow time. Otherwise, I'd have already flooded the bathroom. Good. I have plugged up the hole so that the liquid can proceed in the output circuit of the installation. Perfect. There are no other leaks. The miraculous liquid of the splash lenses keeps going on its way through the sturdy pipes. Whoever is fooling me better stop right now, or else he's gonna end upside down in the mud beneath us, stabbed by my halberd. See? You got it. Run now, coward! Closed. Is anybody there? Who's there? That sounds like Macho's voice. Hey, you with the wooden armor, don't mess with me. I can see you, you know that?
Who dares spray this smelly water in my face? But what happened to my eyes? I'm able to distinguish dry trees from the trolls now. Hi, Macho. Hey, um, uh, Fearless Knight. May I ask you a favor? Do you think you can manage to open a can with your halberd? Thanks to an intervention I would define as almost divine, now I see perfectly, and I can split the can open like an apple. Place it on that wall and move aside. Remarkably precise cut. He didn't even graze the object that was inside. Good. I'm gonna leave the can here, but this rattle comes with me. Thanks, Macho. I owe you one. Maybe the fact that Lub's mom called the rattle Lubby Snake refers to the rattlesnake. Let's echo the sound of this rattle in the grate. I put it on the torch holder and push it to make the rattle move. What a nice rhythm. <laughs> better and better. Even if this seems a bit of a stretch. The sound of the rattle, synchronized to the movement of the torch holder, set off a mechanism that has revealed Lub's helm. On the mechanism is a green button. You know, usually the color green doesn't mean danger. I press it. It moved and... points in the direction of the Duke's obelisk. Of course! Pressing the button again, the mechanism of this catapult tomb should shoot the heavy helm on the obelisk, freeing the stuck newspaper. It's Love Bear's helm. Ooh, just thinking about lifting it, I can feel my gut trying to exit from my hernia cavity. I press again. Let's see if by hitting the obelisk, I can destroy it to retrieve the newspaper. Oh, better move. I wouldn't want all those tons of steel straight in my face. Well, nothing happened. The eject mechanism must have jammed. Darn. Come on. Unblock! Our hero was violently hit by the heavy helmet of Le Bear, and there was nothing else for him to do. Was this perhaps the end of his adventure? Only the bravest who had the audacity to proceed would find out. You know, as the finale of episode one, it's a bit weak. As you already said, I'm the hero. I can't die. The knight realized that by continuing to talk nonsense, he could also be replaced with a secondary character. Okay, I get it. I'll be quiet here when there's no need. But don't give my spot to Spoffy. Even if he would be a great protagonist, he hasn't got my brilliant gift of gab, and without the opposable bums, it would not be very credible at picking up objects.
Time passed inexorably, but the night stayed still. Maybe forever. 